In today's video, we're heading over to Dollar Tree to take a look at all the new things, including the Halloween things, and we're doing a shop with me. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. In today's video, heading to Dollar Tree, I've already done one or a part one to all the fall things and the Halloween things and the Thanksgiving things. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely go and watch it after you watch this one because I showed you a whole bunch of things that I did not show you in today's video. So we're heading over to Dollar Tree and looking at all the new things, especially the Halloween stuff. So let's go take a look. You guys, I went to three stores for this Dollar Tree shop with me, so I am going to be sure to show you everything. We're gonna start off with the Halloween stuff because that is right around the corner. Here is a peek at all of their little candy bags, their treat bags. So I know a lot of people will do these for classroom parties, and then sometimes people, especially last year, were giving them out to trick-or-treaters to be a little bit more safe. Either way, there's a lot of styles to pick from. Here's a glimpse at their stickers this year. Lots of things to choose from, even and some rub-on stickers as well. My biggest tip is to look behind the first one because you never know what is hiding behind the other ones. You might find a whole bunch of other different styles. They had quite the selection of party favors or these can be handed out to trick-or-treaters. These little guys are new this year. I don't remember them last year, but we do see a lot of repeats from previous years. These are also great things to put inside sensory bins to kind of hunt and pick and look around for too. A big surprise that I didn't see this year were just spiders. I did see spider rings, but not just a package of spiders. So if you want spiders inside your sensory bins, you could always cut off the ring part if you want. These return from every year. They're the eyeballs and a couple of different styles. They were great in sensory bins. And if you need a sensory bin or a treat bucket, they had quite the selection of those two, but these two go really, really fast. So make sure you pick one of those up if you see them. I like the cat myself. They did have lots of drinkware. These ones have the lids and the straw in them, and they have several Several different styles in those. I like the skeletons. Here's some candy dishes if you want a little decorative candy dish to decorate your home in. They have three different colors and three different styles in these little trays and they're all plastic. Every year they have the crime scene tape. This year I didn't see any yellow. Usually I see the yellow but I did see the orange and the purple which is kind of fun and then we have some more of those party favors. Sticker boxes, little pens, all those kinds of things that make great party favors. I'm a big fan of the stamps myself. You can do some great patterning activities with those. And then they had some eraser sets that are really, really cute too, all Halloween themed in those. I do like these little notepads. I think they're a lot of fun and they come in different styles and there's several to a package so they'll go a long way. And of course they always have the pencils, you guys. What is a Dollar Tree holiday without pencils? And then cookie cutters. These are really, really great. Even if you're using them for dough, they're excellent to have on hand and they come in several different styles. I like these for water bin play. I think they're kind of a fun take on water play. And then of course these little treat buckets are great for transfer activities and they come in different styles. There was a ghost, there was pumpkins, and then there was also a little cauldron. Oh, not a ghost. It was actually a skeleton. It's a skeleton, you guys. <laughs> and a little cauldron too. They always sell out of those. Here's some more of the fancy glassware. If you don't want to DIY your own glasses, you can always buy them pre-made. And then we have some really cute treat buckets here, which make great gifts. They're really, really cute this year. I like these boxes. They're the Day of the Dead boxes. I think they're a lot of fun and they have the traditional ones that they have every year. These are new. They're little spooky face books where they have stickers and you just adhere them to the faces to make some crazy characters. This one also came in several different styles, but then I turned around the corner and saw that they had lots of these activity books. There were coloring books. They were mostly in different themes, like your favorite characters. You know, there was like Paw Patrol, Disney, that sort of thing. Some of them were coloring, some of them were stickers, some of them were activity books. You just kind of had to pick around to find out what they had, but make sure you look behind all of the different ones because there are some hidden. My store had these for their costume picks this year. I didn't actually see a lot of costume choices, but these are headband accessory kits. So basically you would buy the clothes and use these accessories to make up a costume. So several different things in here and actual costumes, but then others that were just kind of like a Halloween theme, like the pumpkins that you'd want to put on your head. I'm expecting them to have more of the costumes coming up here in the next couple of weeks. 
found some more random treat bags. These are burlap and a little pumpkin face. I like these a lot, so I had to show you. Here's some more of their treat bags that they had, and then here's the decor for Halloween. So if you like to decorate your house for Halloween, Dollar Tree has some pretty good things. I'm not a big Halloween house decorator, but I can't appreciate some of these fun finds, like these wall decors. They even had some for your ceiling. Maybe some of you do haunted houses in your own home or in your garage. So they have a lot of accessories that would definitely fit that. Here's those carvable styrofoam pumpkins down there on the bottom, which always are at Dollar Tree every single year. And then here are some window clings, which I haven't really seen a lot of window clings at Dollar Tree recently, so it's kind of nice to see them again. These have come around every year around Halloween. They also have them in shot glasses, although I didn't see them at this store. And then here's the table decor, which is great for all those Halloween parties that you might have in the classroom. They have the matching napkins and the plates and the cups. I think I happened to see these when they had just put them out. They are all of the kind of kitchen accessories like your towels and your hot mitts all in the Halloween theme. And then they had a lot of specialty balloons. So these are always great to decorate. Dollar Tree is really stepping up the game as far as party favors go. So they do have a lot of fun party decor. These are a repeat from last year. They are sensory foam, but in the Halloween theme, they're just really colored white and orange. The designs on these are only on the plastic. And then these are a lot of fun. They're just like the Christmas trees, but they are Halloween themed. So they're black trees and you can decorate them. But decorate them with what? Well, Dollar Tree's got you covered with that too. Check out all these little accessory kits that you can get to go with your tree for Halloween. They had small ornaments and like little cute packaging in all kinds of different colors. Lots of glitzy and glittery things going on here too. So that's a lot of fun. I think these signs are new this year too. This one says boo and then this one says eek and these are all paintable decor items if you're looking for something to dress up your little doggy or your pets they had a couple of animal costumes which were all really really cute and for a dollar you can't go wrong and then here's a look at a lot of their decor for your home i'm just going to pan the camera over so you can get an idea of all the different kinds of things that they had and they also had the garlands now the garlands come back every single year and basically the same styles as well I really do like these books. I think they're a lot of fun. They look like real books, but inside they're empty. So that's kind of a fun decor item too, all in that Halloween theme. And then we see these every year too. They're the hanging ghosts and they come in a couple of different styles. Here's another glimpse at some of the decor that they have this year. Dollar Tree's really stepped up their game with all of the decor items. Some of these things look like they would be in other high-end stores and cost quite a bit more. These come back every year too, although I do see a couple of different styles. They're the giant googly eyes. Usually we see them in just the plain white too, which are kind of fun. And then we always see these tombstones. They're made out of styrofoam. In fact, you can also find these at the 99 cent only store. They're very similar, if not the same. We have this little LED projector here that projects things onto a wall. And then we also have the strobe light that you can put inside a pumpkin or use it if you're doing like a haunted house or something like that. Every year we see these two, it's nothing new here. We have all of the little sparkly decor items in the different styles, and they also come in the spiders, which is another repeat that we see every single year. However, these are new and they looked really interesting. They are lanterns and you kind of pop them up and they come with a little LED light and they glow. There was two different styles in them. This little black and white one here looks like it has a cat on it. And then one right below it is the orange one with Halloween sayings on each side. Much of these wooden signs I've already shown you in a previous video, so you'll definitely have to go back and see that for a little bit more detail. These are a new item. They are craft kits that you can make little Halloween decorations with, with some craft foam. I really like the spider one. I think that's really cute. It'd be great for a preschool activity. Little tea lights that light up, but these are kind of monster eyes. I thought those were interesting. And then they had face tattoos. So these are really cool. They're kind of come in different designs and you just put them right onto your face so that you can just dress up and have your makeup automatically applied. 
These are for your little tea lights, so you can use a fake tea light on if you wish to decorate your house. And then we have the pumpkin decorating kits, and we see these every year, just slightly different from year to year. So here's a little glimpse at the different styles that they have. They basically come with all of the pieces that you need to create the pumpkin, but you don't get the paint, which is kind of a downfall of these. So you have to get some uh, pumpkin paint in order to paint your pumpkins to put these on after. Loving these little decor vases, so I had to show you. I missed them the last time I was here. They're just really, really pretty colors. I really adore these. These are great for manipulatives, counting, math activities, sensory bins. You can find in the sensory bin. They come in acorns and pumpkins. They are acrylic, and they're a lot of fun. Moving on to another part of the store, let's go to the crafting section to see what was new back there. I found these little magnetic sheets. It looks like you color them yourself and the whole sheet itself is a magnetic. So that was pretty interesting. If you have tried this, let me know how well it works. I'm very curious to know. Also new in my Dollar Tree were the wooden pieces, so wooden blanks or wooden pieces to create your own creations with, which is really cool if you're a crafter and you like to do DIY projects, you can buy really basic wooden pieces here and construct your own craft. We've seen this before, but I want to point them out because they've been restocked in this Dollar Tree and they have different styles and these craft scissors can cost quite a bit more in the craft stores. So look out for those. That's a great thing to have for your kids who are learning to cut. And then these were new too, these little metal flowers it looks like. We're getting a lot more of these and I'm not quite sure how you would decorate with these or do crafts. So if you have ideas, let me know. But I did find the galvanized letters. I saw the numbers before and I was saying, that'd be nice if they had the letters. Well, they have the letters now. Another new item in the crafter's square are these crafting paint palettes. It looks like you tear off each time you use it. So it's pretty interesting and it's in the shape of an artist's paint palette. New over in the office supply section are these little post-it tags. I think this is actually a really good find. They cost far more at Target. And then they have all of the calendars coming out, but not just that, the planners too, the mini checkbook size planners, which are great for a purse. They also have the larger ones, which are about a five by seven size. These are really great. I've used them before in the past. If you really like a paper planner, these are really, really nice and they work very, very well. I've never had an issue with them. And I like all the designs and colors that they come in. I've gotten some of these before in the past and they are a great find. They're little mini pillows. I found them in these plush colors. If you have these in your store, they're definitely a score. And then lo and behold, over in the toy section, I finally found the bubble poppers. I did a whole video on bubble popper activities. I'll have to put up in the corner for you guys because these are a lot of fun to play with, especially in learning activities. Also new in the toys are these little craft kits, kind of like an inspiration board. I showed you a couple of these in my Dollar Tree toy test and they actually are pretty good kits. So this is a new one. We also have the ball toss here, which is actually great if you're learning how to add and count. A great physical activity to do some learning activities. And then we have these new boomerang sets. They come two to a package with two different boomerangs in each set. I haven't tried these. If you have, definitely let me know what you think about them. I do like that they come two to a package. If you like to do invitations to play, a lot of times people like to use mirrors as their base. I want to point out Dollar Tree had some really great ones that had wooden frames in different shapes. They both come in in black and in white and these are a great find if you like to do those invitations to play. And then I did find some new sensory bin boxes. These are over in the kitchen section and they are the SureFit brand. They come in two different sizes. One's like a really deep shoe box size and the other one is a more shallow one. These are great for doing some busy bins with your kids or even sensory bins. If you like this video, I have another one for you to watch. I'll put it up here on the screen. It's the other Dollar Tree shop with me with all the fall things. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.